So y'all, I guess Miss Arion Bugaboo Curry needs some more attention and Martell and Mel got enough attention this weekend. So I guess she's feeling a little left out. So now she wants to go after Stormy Steele of Canvas Beauty. And Stormy recently did a live where she was basically discussing how people were saying that she was following Arion and she's not. And she explains how she actually knew Arion, but they're not friends and so on and so forth so let's watch this live from stormy then we'll see the post that old bird brain posted in response to stormy's live let's watch hi how are you guys hey ma you always do that why you always got your phone in your hand demetrius why fuck you on the phone too so how you guys doing uh, I've been going live on Facebook uh, often. I said, let me come over here and go live on Instagram. And, of course, um, on Facebook, I'm always telling people about my $50,000 giveaway um, that we're doing. And I'll just reiterate it over here on Instagram. I'm doing a $50,000 giveaway. Because y'all know I always have to do, like, a cute theme, a cute rollout. Um, so I'm either going with December, a gift from Canvas, because you know it's for Christmas, or New Year's, new you, new money, or Valentine's Day, which would be um, with can from Canvas with love. Um, so yeah, that is like the biggest thing that I'm excited about right now. Um, we get, we're getting a lot more distribution into retail. I'm really excited about that too. Um, we're doing really good in stores. Um, it's our first year, and I'm just I'm really excited. Um, I had to block some people today very fun uh i don't know how many of y'all like know but i've been like on a reality tv show love and marriage huntsville if you know let me know in the comments because <laughs> i never really talk about that like on my lives um especially like on facebook and stuff because like my audience like know me for business for canvas beauty and i don't ever want to be known as a reality personality before that because i was a ceo of a multi-million dollar business that i built from ground up We've done over 40 million dollars in sales i'm keep saying this shit until it's over 50 and um i don't want to be known as a reality tv personality before i'm acknowledged as canvas beauty ceo so i try not to talk about that a lot but see a lot of the the fans from the show I guess because they are aware of me from a reality show that they think that that's where Stormy Steele starts and ends. And that's some bullshit because a lot of you guys have been following me for longer than that. And you know, like, I, that ain't even <laughs> remotely true. Um, and then the fact that I was brought on as a friend of the show, it's easy to get it twisted as far as, like, who did what, who need what, and that that shit is annoying <laughs> to say the least but i woke up today with like bloggers writing me asking me am i friends with arion now i'm trying to even speak on people or things that ain't got shit to do with me but early on when i first ever went live and was talking about love and marriage huntsville somebody asked the question if I knew Arian, I always say, yeah, I know Arian. And let me tell you, I reiterate it. I know Arian because one of her best friends at the time is Courtney's. My baby waking up. It's Courtney's best friend. And Courtney's best friend used to work for us. Arian used to sit outside in the car and wait on him. I know her. You know what I'm saying? Are we friends? No. Never thought <laughs> that could be interpreted as friendship. Um... Also, never thought, say, hey, Chess. He just woke up. Also, never mm. interpreted liking a picture in 2020, <laughs> y'all best friends. And to be honest with you, and if anybody ever say anything different, I'm pulling receipts because I got them. One thing about me, the whole time I've ever been thought, even thinking about, I'm going to give him some milk, doing a show, I was like, I don't know these people. I don't know what I'm walking into. I'm going to always make sure... Um, the the eyes are dotted and the T's are crossed. The very first day I ever met 
male in person, I told her, I said, yeah, I'm mean, going to be with you. Like, I know her, seen her, have said stuff to her. Hey, how you doing? Because, like I said, she had a whole friend that worked at our warehouse. She sit outside in the car. Like, come on. And for anybody who don't understand that, I don't give a fuck. My life is not but Mary Trunsville. I always say I'm so grateful and so thankful that I was um, on the show in this season of my life. Because one thing that I would never allow anybody to do is say, damn, something made me when it didn't. Or say someone made me when they didn't. Um, Because that's my truth. That's not my reality. Um, Yes, do I appear on a television show? Yeah, for sure. Is that how some people know of me or Canvas Beauty? Sure, yeah. But... (laughs) I also built a very robust company and brand off the strength of my own efforts from nothing that I will never let anybody just because they was introduced to me a certain way act like that shit ain't real because that's real for me and that's the truth that's the truth of it it's so I'm gonna read some comments now but yeah, I, I mean, I, I can't, <laughs> I'm like, y'all got me fucked up. And then some people are like, why you want to address it? Because here's the thing. And I have conversation with my mom about stuff like this. I- so y'all, now that y'all see what Stormy had to say, here's what old Fraggle Rockface had to say in her post today. So Ariane posts, I will be speaking on the girl who just did a live about me trying to clear her name or whatever. Let's be clear. I was never following you on Instagram. Your personal page and business page followed me and you unfollowed me on your personal page after you paid to get on that show. The show you was talking shit about and your so-called friend, LOL. I've been minding my business and wasn't even going to say nothing because I really care less about fake ass people paying their way to get on. But stay tuned. She spoke on me first. Girl, shut up. First of all, Arion does anything to be seen child like I am so sick and tired of her and then you want to say that Stormy paid her way to get on the show well at least she got some money to pay her way to do anything can you even pay your way into a uber these days like girl just stop you probably didn't even see the live and you over here talking crap and then you want to try to throw shade at her being friends with Mel. How about you find some different friends that's going to help you do better in life? Because clearly your relationship with Martell is not helping you to be anything but a peasant. I just I just don't understand her and her foolishness. And whoever told her that Stormy said anything bad about her, the girl ain't say nothing about her. All she was doing was clearing up everybody continuously saying that, oh, Stormy and Arion must be cool because they're following each other. And girl, quiet as it's kept, don't nobody give a damn about you following them or not? Or even knowing your broke ass, what's your broke ass? Girl, get a freaking life. And how you gonna check her, boo? In the words of your new, your boyfriend's, or your whoever he is, your baby daddy's new woman that he does show to people that doesn't have to hide in a department store behind a mirror to take a picture of him. Girl, get your life. Stormy is not thinking about you. And like she said in the video, she wants to be known for her business first before anything. She don't need this show. The same show that you are so pressed to be on. You mad because you don't even have enough money to try to pay to get on this show catch that and cash it in your non-existent bank account girl get off of our instagrams tvs everything because you are so annoying i am just so tired of her i just she needs to just be canceled already and i'm i'm just i'm at the point where i don't even want to report on her anymore because she's irrelevant she doesn't have anything going on she doesn't have anything going that people are remotely interested in She's not, she doesn't have any leadership qualities whatsoever. All she does is sit on T on live and hate on mail. She wishes she could be on our TV, but she uses her free Instagram account that she's not getting paid for to talk about absolutely nothing. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Please, please, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, share, share this video with anybody else that wants the deets too. All right, y'all. Till the next video, peace out.